Good morning, I'm Emily. On this episode of A Road to Recovery presented by Addiction Recovery Care, we're going to talk about friends and the impact they have on you in your recovery and maybe if you're even in act active addiction right now. And Vanessa, I know this is something you're very passionate about and you've probably struggled with friendships through your recovery journey. Yeah, absolutely. You know, when you're in addiction, you have all kinds of friends, but they are there for all the wrong reasons. And so when you get sober, it's like no one's around anymore. And that's really hard because I'm a very outgoing person and I love people. And I felt like every person I knew, I could no longer be around because they weren't safe for my recovery. And so learning to develop friendships in recovery and even through that you have people who you're in recovery with who you're doing life with again and then what happens when something goes wrong with them mm -hmm. you know and um, being able to love people from a distance when it's not safe for them to be very close in your life that's something that I've had to learn to do I've had to learn to really focus on bringing friends into my life who are going to love me well, who are going to hold me accountable. Everyone out there who is my friend knows that I'm in recovery because that is very important to me. Mm -hmm. If they don't know that I'm in recovery, they can't help to hold me accountable. And we're, everyone's going to have bad days. And if I had people around me who didn't know I was in recovery and I was having a bad day, what could happen then? You know, so it's really important that I have people in my life because I feel that loving someone is holding them accountable. Mm -hmm. and I'm sure though you've had to let go of friendships. I know that's so hard that people who you thought were really close to you and you've had to let them go, how do you, how do, you do that? Well, you have to love yourself enough to know that you can still love them from a distance, but they just can't be a part of your life. And having boundaries. If your friends don't respect your boundaries, they aren't your friends. Mm -hmm. You know, because I have very strong boundaries in my life. I've been in recovery now for over 12 years, and I feel like that's been a huge part of what's allowed me to stay in recovery. If I didn't have boundaries and I just let whoever into my life and I ended up going anywhere with whoever, then that may not be my story. You know, mm -hmm. I might have have struggled with addiction again throughout this last 12 years um, but thankfully you know I've been able to hold those strict boundaries have friends in my life who respect those and so it's been able to help me be successful so tell me about those friendships that really help keep you in recovery what do they really do for you so I feel like you know of course friendship is give and take you know mm -hmm. it's like you and having someone who really is there for you because in recovery you're learning to cope with things without a substance and so you I mean I can know for me like 10 years into recovery like something hard happens in life that hasn't happened for the first 10 mm -hmm. years in recovery and all of a sudden you're having to cope with something new and so having those friends in your life who are there to listen and you're there to listen to them and who really care about you and who respect you and who love you and who are just there to encourage you on the hard days because whether you're in recovery or not you're always going to have hard days mm -hmm. and so having um, having those friends who are able to just be there for you is so important and how do you maybe find those friends? I know people, they're trying to separate from their old friend group and now trying to find those friendships. How do you make those connections and find those healthy friendships? Sure. So a lot of mine have been found through like recovery organizations, recovery programs at church. Um, you know, all of those types of things where people who are on the same path that you are on. So it's very, very important when you're in recovery to have friends who are also in recovery because, you know, like I have a lot, I have tons of friends who aren't in recovery and that's great, but there's those things that come up that you know they can't necessarily relate to. So having a healthy friend who's also in recovery to be able to navigate through the things that are going on in your life that can actually relate to that really means a lot. All right, thank you so much, Vanessa. Sharing those friendships have such an impact in our lives. Thank you so much and we'll send it back to you in the studio.